Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening all around the globe. I'm Patricia Parent, as you already know, and I'm grateful, thankful, and blessed to be here today again with no oxygen on. That is a true blessing. I always start out with God's Word, and it's in 2 Ephesians 1, verse 11 in the NLT. Courageous. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things our faith promotes you to do. Well, you know, it takes me a lot of courage some days to just come and do these. But you know, courage is often associated with acts of bravery that defy a typical human experience, like running through a flames to save a child or to save a man or a woman, jumping in a raging river to pull out someone to shore, or chasing down a thief to retrieve a stolen purse. These are all acts of courage. And we are grateful for each and every one that is able to do this. But courage doesn't always look so heroic. Courage is standing your ground when you feel like running, like I did some days. It's saying yes to something you feel God is telling you to do even when you aren't sure that you can do it. I'm sure a lot of people have these days. I know I have over the last little while. And asking for courage to make the right choice today. And you know, that's what I had to do this morning when I was in my prayers and talking to God. I had to ask him for the courage for me to step forward again today and share his word. May you give you the power to accomplish all good things our faith prompts us to do. And that's not only just for me, that's for everyone out there. So God, I want to take the first step today and believe that you will give me the courage to continue each and every day. I trust and believe in all he gives. You know, our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power. You know, courage can be telling someone you don't want to hear their negative thoughts about other people. It can be sharing your testimony with a room full of people or even just one. Sometimes it takes courage just to leave my house. I don't know if anyone has felt that, but over the past three and a half years with COVID, I really struggled to leave my own home. And it got me into a rut, a big rut, that when I go out, it seems like I'm paranoid, but I've asked for courage from this day forward to keep moving forward and to see and to meet and to take part in activities outside my home and online. This is great courage for myself. And I know through the Lord that will happen. <coughs> Excuse me. And when we place our trust and hope in God, we will give a, he will give us 
the courage we need to do tasks he wants us to do, just like I'm doing today. I know he's giving me the courage to get up, get dressed, and to be who he made me to be. It's not a heroic hero. I'm here to have courage to share with others God's word. But you know, it's great to be heroic and have courageous and be brave. That's what God can give us all. And that's great. But let's not underestimate the importance of walking courageously in the small things as well. And it's maybe just going out for a walk after being confined to our homes for so long. I know it's been open for a long time, but it takes that courage. And I have been doing really well at it. But there's days it's really tough because now they're saying there's more variants out there. Not that it scares me, I don't have fear, but it takes that courage to step beyond what I really feel inside. So Lord, I have to admit, I don't always feel very brave. Sometimes doing the simplest thing requires more strength than I have. Please be with me today and moving forward. I ask for this courage more and more and from now on. So I ask each of you, what are you facing in your life that requires bravery? You know, there's been a lot of things over the last four and a half years that have gave me a lot of courage and bravery and trust and belief. And that was through on passive. Because if I wouldn't have had on passive over these last few years, I don't know if I'd be here today. But everyone that is an on passive that I have met through being online has that safe, that trust and belief that our CEO, Mr. Ash Mafara, has started this vision and built our products from ground up and our security is above and beyond. We have our own data center. We have three free products to help each and every one change their lives personally, but also change their business. Give them the help that they're going to need to survive. These are tough times. A lot of places are in recession and this may bring them through. And you know, today, our giveaway was extended to help more, to get registered for free and take the opportunity to register and enter the contest. It's worth $21,000. Whoa, what could I do with $21,000? Whoa, the first prize is 10,000, 5,000. 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. That can be life-changing to a lot of people around the globe. I know it can be for myself, as I live on very little, but I truly believe and trust what God has shown me over four and a half years ago about on passive and how far it has come and how far it's going to go. We all need that courage, 
that trust, the belief, the passion. Because when we do, we know where we're going and we know what's leading us. It's God first for me. And I know on passive is going to change many lives. Uplift humanity. Give us the courage to step out of our box, to be the one to make the change, even if it's only to one person. That one person's life can be changed. And when Oblast comes, it's going to change many. But we don't have to wait for Oblast. As I try to do now, I prepare a meal, I'll share it. And I want to this week declutter my home. There's things I know I don't need and won't be able to use anymore, like clothing, because I have lost the weight and over the past three years have not gained an ounce back. So I know those clothing will, are no longer good to me, but they will be good for someone. It'll be a true blessing. Yes, I have to admit that I was saving all these things for when Oblast comes, that we can build our village to help the homeless, the disabled, the veterans, the people like myself that are one paycheck away from being homeless. But you know what? I've decided I don't need to wait because the good Lord will provide all needs. And if someone else is in need today, that is why I need to share, to bless others with things that I no longer need or will be able to wear. So this is my goal. So everyone set a goal. Be courageous. Be that brave person and let things go that you do not need. This is what my attempt is. My commitment is, is to go through my home and let someone be blessed with those items because it's only material things. The true value is in your heart. And when you set your mind to changing lives, like I have over the past four and a half years through on passive, that my heart has changed to bless others. Forget about the negative. Think of all the positive possibilities there is. It's endless, folks. It's endless. And with the giveaway that On Passive is giving everyone a chance to enter with four easy steps. But you have to be registered to the On Passive ecosystem. I will leave a link below for those who have not registered to the OES so that you can take that brave step and join the On Passive ecosystem. It's free. You get to enter the contest. But the best part is you're in the ecosystem where you will receive the free solutions, the tools that you need each and every day. Yes, personally, you need them. We all send emails. We all have social network platforms. We may not all need an old trim, but we, you can take the old connect web conferencing for 14 days, free trial. Why not connect and see how beautiful, how crystal clear everything is and you know there's little emojis that can make you smile 
so big and share those. These are true blessings, <coughs> excuse me, that the Lord has given us through on passive Mr. Ashmafara's vision to change lives. It sure has changed mine. And I am 1000% with the Lord and with on passive. Nothing can change my heart or my mind of being able to bless others with the same gifts of free. So as I go today, be courageous, be brave, be passionate, give thankfulness, be grateful, but learn the new technology as it's here to stay. Everything is created by God. Everything, everything we do, he knows. And he knows what Mr. Ashmafara is doing for the world to bless others, to bless your business. Big changes, but lifting up humanity is life changing for the world. One day, the world will be changed for all good. This is what I totally believe, but it starts with you and me. We all need to work together. And as my voice is getting hoarse today, I must end. So please remember, check out on Passive. I will leave a link below. It's otrim.co slash Patricia OES1. Register today. You'll be grateful you did. You can thank us all later for the opportunity of changing others' lives. God bless. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye for now. Smile.